so what's the deal with these pickups? I mean, why do you care? I asked the same question when they called me up and they said, hey, we got some pickups. I said, why do I care? Uh, to give you the brief synopsis of why I cared was because uh, back in the day when I was doing a lot of stuff with Fender, they had approached me about doing a signature pickup. And they said, well, what would you want? And I said, well, I would want something that sounds like a really good single coil pickup. <laughs> By its own, would you like, man, that's single coil sounds magnificent. But I want it to have no noise. And the reason why I say that is because most noiseless options are never as good sounding as a regular single coil pickup. So, want a regular single coil pickup sound, I want no noise. And then I want it to look like a regular single coil pickup. Because a lot of times, whatever they use mechanically to get rid of the noise, you know, it looks like there's fangs or claws or you know, dual blades or whatever they have to do in order to make it be quiet. I don't want it, I want it to look normal. And then on top of that, I want some kind of way to change the voice, so just to get something a little bit hotter, a little bit fatter, in case I should so desire, in the heat of battle, to press a little button or a push pull pot or whatever the case may be, to add a little bit of girth so I can engage in savagery. Uh, and anyways, to make a long story short, that didn't happen back in the Fender realm. The guys that I was dealing with ended up not working there anymore, and the other things came up, and it never happened. So when I started talking with the Fishman folks, it turned out that that's exactly what these pickups bring to the table, right? So in the case of my Telecaster pickups, they have two voices. One voice is very open and jangly and very dynamic, or they're both very dynamic, but just it's kind of more of a mellower attack. Uh, and that's what we refer to as the white guard tele sound. So Telecasters with white pick guards from the late 50s or early 60s, that's the sound we're going for. And when I press in this button, button, um, <laughs> puberty. Anyway, when I press in this button, it, it sounds more like a black guard tele, which is gonna be something that's uh, got a little bit more girth to it and a little bit more roundness to the tone. It's a little fatter sound. Um, and how it's able to do this is that the, the way that the pickups are made it's new technology, so it's, there, it's not modeling or anything like that. There's actual, it's functioning as a pickup, but instead of the coil being wound copper windings, they're actually stacked circuit boards, aerospace circuit boards that are, that have a coil printed on them, and those are surrounding a magnet. And so in order to make that sound the way that we want it to sound, because it is made out of what it's made out, out of, we can actually make it sound multiple different ways. So there's a preamp on board that addresses those coils in two different ways indicated by when I press that button in or out. So for instance, if I'm on the first position, I have the amp overdriving a little bit. I'm just gonna get it clean for a minute so you can hear what I'm talking about here between the two different sounds. Right, so this is the white guard telly sound. done they call it the treble bleed mod or the resistor cap mod but with these pickups another one of the advantages is you don't lose any high frequency when you turn down the volume one of the reasons why I wanted that uh, on the other pickups that we'll go into to go between the two different voices there's actually a push pull pot on the tone control but on the telecaster I like to do a lot of these tone control laws and what sorts and I didn't want that functionality to be um, tempered by the fact that that was a push pull pot so Larry Fishman's like you know I got this cool little push push button that we can pop in between those two 
the volume and the tone control to allow you to be able to get those two different voices. And I said, cool. So how they actually work in terms of, um, there is a battery on board, all right? So with my pickups, the there's a lithium ion battery in, in this control panel. So it comes with the pickups, it comes with this control panel, it comes with this input jack. And right underneath the input jack, you'll see there's a little mini USB input as well. That's where you put your phone charger in. Oh, wow. And for an hour and a half charge, you get 300 hours of playing time, of plugged in playing time, not 300 hours from the moment you plug it in or after you charge it. It's plugged in playing time. So people have asked, well, what happens if you run out of power? Well, it's going to stop working, but the point is you've got 300 hours at which to top it off. So I've had uh, the last Paul on the strap with these fluids pickups in for going on six years now, and I've never even come close to running out of power. There's a little light that goes on. There's a light that starts flashing when you've got five hours left. I've never even come to that. Uh, so when you plug it in, it'll go red, meaning it's taking a charge, and then it goes green to say that it's topped off. And once it's green, you've got 300 hours. So uh, I've been doing tours of Europe where I'll bring one guitar with my pickups in it, and I don't worry about running out of power because I change my strings after every three gigs anyway, which is nowhere near 300 hours. So as long as I change the strings, I'll just plug the adapter in and you know top it off. So not even a thing. So the advantages are you've got pickups that sound magnificent. Uh, I actually prefer the sound of these pickups to regular single coils at this point. I've got a 53 Tally, which sounds great. Um, but the neck pickup's a little wimpy in comparison to the bridge pickup, and if I put any gain on at all, the neck pickup starts howling like a banshee in heat. So it's cool for doing specific sessions and so on and so forth, but for playing out live and doing everything that I do with my band and so on and so forth, I use a guitar with my pickups in it. Because there's it's just, it's ridiculous. And another thing is too, is I can go into any music store wherever we show up and I'll grab a, uh, a Fender Deluxe Reverb Reissue, I'll turn it up, it always sounds great. Up to the last couple nights I've been using a little Blues Junior. <clears throat> I can just turn it up. It sounds killer. I don't need any pedals. I just plug right into it, turn it up, and then for my clean sound, I turn the volume down. And when I want some lead, I turn it up. I want a little bit more, press that button. It's it all right through grubby little bits. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I love them. I can't say enough about them. And um, unfortunately, it's catching on. These are, are, are the best selling ones, I'm told, unless they're lying to me. But uh, I have been receiving checks, so that's a good sign. Am I right? Yeah. Well, you got to eat. You know, money isn't everything, but it's some. You got to eat. <laughs> How you doing? Come on in. Uh, anyway, so these are the tele pickups, as I said. This, this is the only set that the battery comes with it as part of the purchase because everything that we needed to do to change the the sounds to keep the guitar quiet and all that other kind of stuff it necessitated having this whole control panel so that's why we put the battery in there so there's there you don't have and you don't have to carve up the guitar it's retrofit for any telecaster it'll pop right in uh, there's a couple of solder points and the rest are all are all plugs so it's cool uh, let me grab the strat plug that in so you can hear what that sounds like um, these were the first pickups that we worked on, and the same basic principle applies in terms of you don't lose any highs, you turn down the volume, the 